we are on the part of the process we are going to start carving in. I have mine stretched nearby, and I know I'm going to be carving in my little pumpkin. So, there are a couple of ways that you can do this. If I want to carve out a shape like a heart, I'm going to use my paper clip. There are two reasons why I use my paper clip, by the way. One, I use my paper clip because it's the same size. I just drew at guessing my heart, but this is the exact same size as my heart. My example of carving, I'm going to show you a really good student example. All this was carved out with a paper clip, and they just went through and carved this to make it look like a wave. They also wanted a mountain and a sun. This is a really good example of layering because the mountain has been carved out of the clay, the sun has been carved out of the clay, and then they're adding in tree branches on top of it. There's some water, and I'm going to smooth out the edge. If you don't smooth out the edges, it does not look good. Now, if you're going to do complicated shapes like this, you can use the narrow end of your paper clip. I really like to bash the narrow end. Finally, I'm going to give you an example of that layering that I talked about. So, the student that did the mountain, and then the sun. This is sort of how I did my pumpkin. I'm going to take my paper clip, a beautiful mountain. I'm going to start with my mountain because it's in the front. And I'm going to push my paper clip in. I'm going to ruin my sun. I know it's supposed to be there, so it's okay. And I'm going to like carve out around the mountain. Go through, carve, 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 carve. Pretty deep. It's a lot. I'm going to take my rib. I'm going to rib this out, rib this out, my water, do that my water. Now I have a sun that has to go behind my mountain. Notice, I did not carve everything out. I would probably also Use this and make sure that my mountain looked really nice and smooth before I started carving my sun. So I'm going to take a minute and smooth out my mountain. Because if I don't, it's not going to look nice. Now I'm going to redraw in my sun. I'm 
And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to dig in. Go through here. I'm not touching my mountain. No touching my mountain. It's very important that I don't touch the mountain. And I'm just going to carve it out. I'm carving at an angle, so this part's deeper than this part. And now my sun is done. I'm going to rib it. Make it really smooth. Miss Bus really likes the rib. You guys should like the ribs. And then I'm going to There is no easier way to do this. There is no better tool than one you make. So I just took a paper clip and I bent it to the shape that I wanted. If I wanted this to be a V, I would crush it to be a V. But I made this tool specifically for my needs. So that's what we like about ceramics is that we can make our tools that are made for our needs. So I'm going to do this. See how my eyes are like bugging out now? So, because I'm the teacher, you guys know I'm extra. I'm just going to make sure that it's nice and flat in there. Again, my pumpkin is supposed to look like it's popping out of the tree. So, as I work on this stuff, I also have to keep in mind that I'm going to have to make it, car it go out from the in from the edges to, of the pumpkin as well. So my jack-o'-lantern has to also look like it's coming out of the tree. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to lie to the world. It's called Trempeloy. I'm going to put this in and I'm only going, I'm going to, like, I'm taking pretty big chunks of clay out of this, if you can see. I like this. It goes really fast when you do big areas. If you want to make lines in my base, I'm going to make lines with this to have it be striped. My, and look, if you guys can tell, I'm spinning this. Again, I'm working on the banding wheel. It's really important that you work on the banding wheel. See all of these little chunks that I'm making? All these little boogers, the little nurdles. These guys, I'm going to scoop up. I'm going to throw in my bin with my slip. So, there's, I'm starting to pull this out, but like it just looks like the jack o' lantern has a beard right now, right? So, I'm going to take my rib, I'm going to go around the pumpkin a little tiny bit with my rib so that I make it a nice crisp line. I can do that with this tool as well. Anything straight, I can just use to straighten out my little pumpkin line. And then I'm going to straighten all of this out. I'm going to take my rib. I'm going to start ribbing this down. So I didn't carve the whole thing. Right? I just carved around it, but it's starting to look like I carved this whole thing. Like it's really looking like my little jack-o'-lantern is popping out.